Good morning, Sea Lake Journey crew. So nice to have all of you with us today. It's time to rise and shine with Sea Lake Journey. That's right. So um, it's a great day. It's Friday. Woohoo! It's Woo Friday. Happy Friday, the first Friday of 2023. Now, how about that? So we want to welcome everyone that's in the chat. We want to welcome everyone that's watching while listening or do it listening please excuse me whatever you're doing out there what are you doing <laughs> get off that lawnmower and come over here and listen to this show come on <laughs> we want to thank all of our new viewers and all of our new subscribers if you're new to our show i am robin this is chet and we are sea leg journeys we saw it in an in, in encyclopedia that's we right saw it in an encyclopedia yeah that we're sea leg journeys that's right i looked it up sure enough it had our picture sea Did it really <laughs> yeah. i'll have to go try to find that you do it it's a klingon dictionary or an encyclopedia <laughs> so <laughs> we design our morning shows so that you just have to listen you don't have to watch anything we'll keep you informed of what's going on in the chat we'll put links up for our hashtag team replay people we love our hashtag team replay and we've got so much going on this weekend. It is amazing. Yeah. How about that? Tomorrow's going to be our one year anniversary show tomorrow. Woo. Yes. So today um, we are in the raid parade. Our video is at 243. So you want to make sure you catch that. Then tomorrow at 10 a.m. Our regular Saturday morning show is our one year anniversary. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and then also tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is the very first Saturday stroll and Sea Lake Journeys is the kickoff for that. And we have a special guest trying. We work, we're working on a special guest um, going to be on the show. Uh, right now, we're trying to work out some headphone issues, but you're going to love the uh, special guest that we have. And so let's get started. What is our topic today, Chad? We're talking about 90 days out from your cruise, which we're rapidly approaching ourselves. That's yes, why we thought like, it would be a good time. We're like 109 days or something, uh, or like, something that. like that. Yeah. We're, we're, we're getting dangerously close. Dangerously I know that. Close. I know that February the 12th will be 90 days out. So I don't like waiting until it gets to 90 days before I start doing my 90 day stuff. There you go. So would it give us one, the most important thing on our 90 day checklist, and then we'll say good morning to people in the chat. Uh, well, the very last, I'll start with an easy one first okay. before I get to the important one. Check and make sure your, your rates, the rates of your cruise may have went down. Maybe go check it out. Call your cruise travel agent, your planner, or look it up yourself and see if maybe a price dropped and you can mm -hmm. get it adjusted. Chet just did that for our um, flights for, um, Alaska. Alaska. And that, that's the cruise we're going on in uh, a little over 100 days. And lo and behold, we got a cheaper rate. We saved 120 bucks. Yep. So you say, oh, 120 bucks isn't that much. But yeah, it is. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> so we want to say good morning to everyone that's up here in the chat before I got here. So we have, are you ready for this? Let's go. Law Jones. Law Jones brings us our quote of the day. What's our quote of the day, Chet? Our quote of the day is, <clears throat> where you are a year from now is a reflection of the choices you choose to make right now. And that's from Molly Hunt Studio. Molly I Hunt love that because where you are a year from now is a reflection of the choices you make right now. So Chet and I, before we even saw that, I swear, Law Jones, Brilliant. he's got a oh. camera in here watching and listening to us because we just said this morning that one year from now, we want to have 3,500 subscribers. Yep. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, we're, I think me and Law are like twins. I think you and, are. But he's the smart one. And, uh, <laughs> Twin brains, I think, right? <laughs> yeah, but he's the smart one, thank goodness. <laughs> thank you for that, Law Jones. We appreciate that. That is so fantastic of a quote for Yes, today. absolutely. And we also have the Gaylords is in the house. Good morning, Gaylords. And Sharon Rowland. Sharon Rowland, good morning to you. Good morning, beautiful lady. And, of course, we have Mark the Shark. Mark, the sh get your salutes up for Mark the Shark. Mark the Shark. How about that? Hey, Mark, what's going on, brother? <laughs> <laughs> and Eddie Lugo is in the house. Good yo, morning, yo, Eddie. Yo, Eddie Lugo. So I did put up the link for the raid parade today. So um, the first video, the first, the, the one hour live that leads off the um, thing started two o'clock. No, one o'clock. One o'clock. And the first video is at two o'clock, Chet. Is that right? 
I think that's right. I think yes. I, I, I think to me, it right. all starts at two o'clock. I, I don't know if I'm right. <laughs> two o'clock's where I look. <laughs> um, and let's see. Oh, look, Sea Lake Journeys is in the house. Hey, look at those lines. He's learning how to write. Good morning, Sea Lake Journeys. <laughs> and we have the Z Show. Good morning, the Z Show. He so. says, good morning, Sea Leg. I just mm -hmm. want to say thank you for helping me get over 2,000 subscribers. He did. I think it's 200. 200, But that's yep. okay. Subscriber challenge. Thank you so much. Yes. No problem, Z. I'm glad to help you. Law Jones is reminding everyone to hit that thumbs up, Thank and you. so is Mark the oh, Shark. Look at that. We got a Law Jones thumb up, a Mark the there Shark thumbs up. We got two thumbs up there. And good morning to the Journey Away. Hello, and good morning, Sea Lake Journeys, Eddie Lugo, and everybody out there in the Sea Lake Journey crew. <laughs> And good morning to the fearless rambler. Good morning, rambling, fearless. rambling, rambling. <laughs> George, I feel like giving you a squeaky this morning. George, I just want you to know I love having seeing your daughter, you and your daughter, on your, that thumbnail for your live event you did, and she's just got this little look of, "Yeah, Dad, come on." <laughs> I love it. And the Bone Tired Travelers. Good morning, Bone Tired. Good morning to you. And TNT's Adventures to See. Hey, good morning. Tom and Terry up there at TNT's Adventures to See. And they're saying hello to everyone out there in the chat. And Captain Billy, because when we say Captain Billy's in the house, everybody should be in the house. Ahoy there, Captain Billy. He says, Ahoy there, everybody. And uh, Ahoy, Robin and Chet. The captain is here. There you go. I see you So TNT says they only have 39 days 37. Till, or 37 days till the carnival celebration. Wow. How about that? That's coming up close. That's really yes. close. Oh, that's that's going to be great. So even though you're past your 90 days out, let's make sure you still got all this stuff done. Too. Yeah, we'll make sure you've done all this, too. How about that? Have you checked your passport? It's very important there, Tom and Terry. Make sure your passport is good. Um, and, you know, they say that you they want your passport to be good for 60 days. No, six months, six months after your cruise date, after your, after the first day of your cruise date. Right. Yeah. So I th always thought, well, golly, why? Why six months? But recently I have heard so many stories of people getting injured or sick while they were on their cruise and being in a hospital somewhere in another country. And it's a month or two before they can even be well enough to travel back home. Think about it. If your passport expired while you were in another country due to something totally beyond your control and you needed to fly back home, you can't fly into the United States without a passport. I just think about those people that got trapped in Fort Lauderdale because their passport was good when they got to the ship. Yes. Uh, but then it wasn't going to be good long enough to last the whole cruise. Can you right. imagine that expires in your cruise? Don't let that happen to you. Make sure you've got plenty of time on that passport. Go check it today. Get it done. And, you know, passengers are no different than the crew. The crew's passports also have to be valid and not expired by the end of their, you know, their sailing as well. Um, so it's not just a rule they make for the passengers, make it difficult for you. And, you know, speaking about passports, you know what Chet and I do? We always carry a backup copy of our birth certificates as well. Yeah. And if you're going out of a port in Florida and returning to the same port or anywhere in California, in, in the United States, you only have to have your driver license and your birth certificate if it's a closed loop. You're leaving Fort Lauderdale, coming back to Fort Lauderdale. Mm -hmm. However, that being said, these people got down there and their passport had expired and they didn't have a birth certificate with them. I know. If they had that, they, they still, still would have been down. okay to get on the cruise because right. it was a closed loop cruise, Fort Lauderdale, back to Fort Lauderdale. But they didn't have that with them. We always carry a birth certificate mm -hmm. with us, stuffed in our... Uh, um, jewelry box mm -hmm. you know just in case that's right and so what's another tip you got for us how about this 90 days out typically you must have that cruise paid for oh yeah they want their money baby <laughs> don't forget to pay your cruise off because otherwise you are in danger of it being canceled and, and then they, you might not find out till you get there and they don't care how much you owe yeah don terrace <laughs> don's family vacations you know he has a giant youtube channel yep and he's been a travel agent for, for his eons. whole life <laughs> he got checking his because he had his paid off from the very beginning mm -hmm. but then just before the 90 days came up he went and looked again and lo and behold it had one cent on there 
<laughs> one penny. He owed one cent. And he said, oh, no, I'm not going to let my wrist take the chance of them canceling my cruise over a penny. He had to call in and get his credit card out and pay that penny. Yeah, because they would cancel it over a penny. They don't care. It's not like, oh, I only owe $20. They'll let me pay it when I get to the ship. No. It don't work like that. Who wants to take the chance? I know somebody might want to argue with us about it. Okay, go ahead. Leave that $20 yeah, on. Leave, don't pay Leave it. it on there. Let us know how that goes. And you know, the <laughs> other point that Chet made about um, calling to make sure that you there's no deals that you've missed out on. Um, you know, you can have that deal one of two ways. You can have it put back onto your credit card that you paid for. You know, if they're say like for us, our um, flight was a little bit cheaper. So we could have put it on shipboard credit or back to our credit card. So there's options there and they're not, it depends on how far you're out when you're making that decision as to which way it goes. But, oh, and you know what? We just got a check in the mail from the last cruise we were on that I didn't spend on my shipboard credit. And we got a check for $61 and 63 cents. But the thing is she did spend over on board credit. So it's a mystery to me. I had the receipts to prove it. So I don't know I don't where know. the $67 is from. Maybe I really did win all my money back in the casino and I just didn't know how to play. And I realized I really didn't lose. I really got it. <laughs> I don't think that's what happened either. <laughs> we don't gonna, know what happened, but we did get a check back. I think that's the first time that's ever. That's right. We're going to say good morning to Destination Fun. Good morning, Destination Fun. Good morning, Destination Fun. And Man. Gypsy and the Vanilla Gorilla. Good morning, Gypsy and the Vanilla Gorilla. Good morning to you. And good morning to the Backlash Fisherman. What you need to do is kidnap me to go cruise. Also, <laughs> hey, I can see Backlash Fisherman on the back of that cruise ship casting out. <laughs> Woo! A lion out there catching one of them big old, what's that, sailfish? Or, or no. sailfish. Yeah, yeah, sailfish. Yeah, that'd be great. So on everyone needs to put on their 90 day checklist to make sure that you have room to sneak backlash fishermen on. That's right. This is, a, <laughs> this is an extra thing today. Your 90 day check, make sure you got room for backlash fishermen. And but I wanna, don't forget to check it. Even if you paid the cruise off, go check again anyway. Okay. Just in case. There you go. And I want to throw up backlash fisherman. He is a member on our channel. Yeah, he absolutely. We is. really do appreciate that backlash. And you're getting a squeaky. For that. <laughs> <laughs> and so I also want to remind everyone that every morning, um, I do believe it's Monday through Friday. It could include Saturday. I'm not sure, but I do know Monday through Friday, um, somewhere between 7 a.m. to 7 30, Backlash Fisherman has a live stream in the morning. And if he's not doing it, his lovely, gorgeous bride, Coastal Waters, is doing That's it. That's right. So they kind of bounce back and forth between, you know, what what each other are going on. And I didn't even realize that. And so this morning I jumped in and it was um, coastal waters. She was driving on the way to work. And let me tell you, it's so, I love seeing what the terrain and the houses look like in other parts of the United States, you know, and it's so funny because their home designs are so different than the home designs in Florida. In Florida, you see a lot of mobile homes. And it's like, the, <laughs> and it's like sometimes the house is like right close to the highway, a lot closer than you yeah, yeah, you don't see that here in Florida. No, you don't see that in Florida. Yeah. And good morning to Danny, the super supporter. Danny D, super supporter. Good morning to you. How good about, morning. How about a squeaky for you too this morning? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and so here's Sharon Rowland. What she sure. say? She says, "Yeah, 120 bucks is a lot of money when you really need it." Yeah, I'm telling you, and I really need it, Sharon. So. I was glad to say that 120 bucks yesterday. Absolutely. And Gypsy and the Manila Gorilla has put up the link for TNT. And so Yay. someone said to me the other day, I'm not going to remember that long thing to put up. Well, you can always put up at the Gypsy and the Vanilla Gorilla. Sometimes you can find them that way. It depends on when they made their channel name as to whether or not their YouTube address is the exact same as their channel name. Yeah, some of us are and some of us aren't. So. And then another tip is if you go to their About page, a lot of times the link at the top will be without all those weird letters and numbers and stuff. Mm -hmm. And good, mm -hmm. uh, I think we said good morning to Eddie already. Oh, here's what Backlash Fisherman says. $120 might feed me for a day last <laughs> <laughs> 120 bucks feed us for about three weeks <laughs> and you know it's so funny because the grocery stores they're like stupid crazy expensive and there's the link for um eddie lugo studios thank you and cme yeah. traveling is with us this morning well first of all we have to give a huge everybody get ready everybody get ready get out your get out your squeaky get your squeaky toys get out, out. Your pom poms pom poms hang on a second 
Get Let your me. bow ties, your big pointy hats. Hang on. Get your crayons out. Here we go. Ready. Okay. What are we doing? It's uh, <laughs> <laughs> right here. Yep. Okay, so Sammy traveling hit 600 subscribers. Yay! <laughs> 600 subscribers for see me traveling good congratulations congratulations you that? guys we know what that feels like yes, we, we do. do we do it's exciting. um it's you're exciting. every time you hit a milestone it's exciting and you know and and even um you know z man with his 200 that's exciting too, it was yeah. exciting too yeah. for his 200 um they're all exciting and here's what z man says oh she says, sorry, I had a shot of fireball this morning because my back is hurting. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. And we do know that you meant 200. Here, Z man. Well, we didn't know. It could have been a yeah. overnight. <laughs> That's for Z man getting that 200. That's right. right. <laughs> and Gypsy in the Vanilla Gorilla has also put up the link for the Fearless Rambler. Rambler Fearless Rambler. 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 Hey, y'all can check these channels good out. Good morning, Keisha. Good morning, Keisha. Such a beautiful lady she is. I know, right? Okay, so give us another point while I see who else has joined the chat. Okay, um, if you if you if you need an accessible room, a wheelchair room, make sure you got that stuff turned in. A princess, the one I'm filling out for May, allows up to sixty days. It has to be turned in before sixty days. So guess who just emailed it yesterday? I did, but I also <laughs> will snail mail it. So I. Email them. It's a two-page thing for Princess, and some of them are only one page. Some ships are even more than two pages. Uh, yeah, I know, right? And that's for your mobility. And you have to do that even if you're renting a scooter or something, too, do you? I, I don't know I, about I, that. I know this is if yeah. you have your personal um, scooter or wheelchair. If you want a handicap room, you have to fill this out. Yeah, there you go. If you're not getting a handicap room, you don't have to fill this out, there as far you. as I know. But if you want one, you got to fill this out. Wow, he's got to put he's got to put the dog down. <laughs> the dog heard all the squeakies and everything. Want to get up here and see what was going on? <laughs> so you got these questionnaires, like on Princess here. It's two pages. Every cruise line is different, but typically, what I've seen is they're going to want the dimensions of your wheelchair. Is it a collapsible wheelchair, a manual wheelchair, an electric wheelchair? And then this got this section here. Oh, they're going to ask you the dimensions of it too: the height, width, yes. length, and uh. Mobility status. Are you full time? Are you in this wheelchair and you cannot get out? Are you frequent use, part time use or distance use? And that's for a lot of reasons. That's for a lot of reasons. Yes. Because that prioritizes who needs those rooms the most. Mm -hmm. Somebody who's in a wheelchair all the time needs a priority first. You know, someone who who can't get out of the wheelchair right. without help, they need that room more than anybody. The frequent user. That's where the category I fall in because I'm in it every day because mm -hmm. I can only walk so many steps and then the leg's done and I have to have it for a shower. That's my category. So I'm the, I'm the next most right. needing it. And then you got the part-time use. You know, most of the time I'm good walking, but I need the wheelchair some days. Mm -hmm. And then you got the distance use. I'm okay walking around everywhere unless I'm going off on a port day. I decide I want to walk out to Cosmo and go shopping. I'm going to need a wheelchair then. And, and those are they're the last category. And another reason for those categories is back in the old day when we had the mustard station drill and you all had to go to a certain location, mm -hmm. they would actually make sure that your name was written down if you fell into any of those categories. And the reason for that is evacuation. Oh, yeah. Because they know all these people that are in a wheelchair Full time, they have a totally different assignment for the muster station if there is an emergency, just like the children yep. get the little wristbands for an emergency in the muster drill. If you, whichever category you fall into in these mobility things, you may not know it, but you are actually on a separate list itemized of who may need assistance if the ship needs to be disembarked in an emergency situation out, you know, that's not at a port. And the, the second part of this questionnaire here on the second page is pre and post cruise programs, which we're going to be doing in Alaska. The top section is if you're not going to Alaska. The second part is if, if you are booked on Alaska cruise tour, how about that specifically mm -hmm. for the Alaska cruise tour? And it says you require a ground floor lodge room. If an elevator is not available do you require an accessible lodge room? And it has other. I put in the other, I need a roll-in shower. 
because you can have an accessible room that still may not have a roll right. in shower. Yes. And uh, knowing that, that's why I want to let people know this, whoever may need to know this, you get an accessible room and you're going to Alaska, make sure you put if you need a roll in shower or not, because right. there's only like three or four rooms at each lodge. So one very important thing about 90 days out is look over the documents, read over the contracts, read over everything. Make sure that you're not just missing something or you get there and you went, I didn't even know it's and a lot of times it's not just for you. You may be bringing, you know, grandma this time and grandma needs to know these things, but grandma's not going to be able to read through all this. So, you know, look at it, look at all these documents, your party as a whole. Um, let's, let's see what's going on in the chat over here. And Gypsy and the Vanilla Gorilla put up the link for Backlash Fisherman. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Um, let's see. Here's Law Jones. Law Jones says, so it's 12 weeks average weight on a passport renewal. And that depends on what country you're trying to renew your passport through as well. And some states, the way that some states you renew your passport at the post office only, some of them you renew it at the, at the post office and the clerk of courts, depends on that state's process as well. Yeah. So you got to plan for it be possibly taking up to 12 weeks. Yes. So right now, if you know, we're prior to the 90 days, I still have time to go get it done, but barely. Barely. Backlash Fisherman says, what's a passport? <laughs> <laughs> Never had one. <laughs> and good morning to Kathy Mills. Good, good morning, lovely lady. Good morning, Kathy. Um, have we ever used a passport card? No. no, we have not. Only because we, when we got our passports, our intention was to visit countries that required passports only. Right. Sometimes they won't accept uh, things. Some places will accept your expanded driver license and other places you got to have the passport. Right. But, so mm -hmm. if you get the passport, you're covered, you're covered for all everything. places. And that's the only reason we did a passport right. versus a passport card. Yep. We wanted to be covered under any situation anywhere on the planet. Yeah. We don't want to be those people on a YouTube channel running to that one place on the planet no, that and, don't take the this, other thing. <laughs> this reminds me another thing that we've never had to do yet um, is sometimes these travel and you have to get a visa for that country. That's something we've not encountered yet, but I have heard Don and Tony talk about that, that they have to get a visa, not, not temporary a passport, guest visa, a temporary so. guest visa to visit that country. Oh, and there's some countries that require you to take uh, other kinds of uh, vaccinations, vaccinations. You know, yellow fever and stuff like that. And yes, because um, way back in the day, we, we were traveling to somewhere, I can't remember what it was, um, we had to be aware that they had yellow fever going on at that time. Um, so here, read some of these chats, Chip. We do the same thing. Birth mm -hmm. certificate, marriage license, copy of passport. Yes. Right on, Gaylor. Such a good idea. And then take pictures of all that on your phone, too. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> yeah. Traveler Bus says, good morning to everybody out there in the chat. Good morning. And Ocean to Ocean Travel is here. Ocean to Ocean is also a member of our channel. Yeah. We, um, If you don't have a travel agent, Ocean to Ocean is your go-to. Bruce and Cindy would be more than glad to book that vacation for you, baby. Yeah, if you've got more questions on passport issues and traveling, they are the travel people who can help you book that cruise and make sure you get it done right. Yes, unfortunately, I did hear about that family out in Utah. Um, and good morning to Renee. Good morning, Renee. Good, good morning, Renee. And here's Bone Tire Travelers. I have a gift card refund of $25 after our There cruise. you go. How about that? How about that? Well, well, take it. Any money we can get, right? <laughs> and here's a, uh, Captain Billy says, Carnival almost canceled my cruise as they said I owed a dollar. A dollar. But, right there. But my travel agent messed up. I paid in full, but my travel agent put in the wrong amount. It was resolved. Captain Billy, that's a perfect, perfect example, example of why you need to check this mm -hmm. before the 90 day deadline comes up. Thank you for that, sir. That's a great example. A perfect example because you would not have known. Billy would not have known if he had not gone in and checked. That's right. That's it. And sometimes it's it's just a human error. So you push the wrong decimal point, wrong zero. Yeah. That's it. Um, let's see. And Backlash Fisherman has put up the link for um, Coastal Water. This is a perfect example yes. of the at Coastal Water. Um, that I was talking about earlier in um, people's uh, links. Here we go. Captain Billy. Captain Billy says here in Pensacola, that's almost Florida, by the way, uh, <laughs> house, mobile home, mobile home, house, house. 
<laughs> He's talking about driving down the road. <laughs> um, Backlash Fisherman says, oops, a member, but no wrench. Backlash, would you like to have a wrench? If you'd I'm like look, to have a wrench. I'm looking to see if I can make that happen right now. Check can make it happen for you. I'm looking for them. Um, and Bone Tire Trevor says, squeaky, squeaky. That's right, right? Okay, wrench coming your way. Backlash. Wrench coming your way, Backlash. And TNT has, uh, <laughs> TNT has put up the link. Blah, can't even talk for the gypsy and the vanilla gorilla. <laughs> Thank you for that TNT. <laughs> and Kurt from see, uh, see me traveling. It says, um, to sea lake journeys. Marsha has not got her name changed on her passport after being married uh -oh. since 2020. Gotta and that's fix that. Kurt. Now, if that's the case for you, what you also need to do is you need to carry a copy of your marriage, license, a certified copy of your marriage license. Remember all these documents have to be certified copies. Your birth certificate cannot be a photocopy. It must be a certified copy as well as mm -hmm. in this case, Marsha has to carry a certified copy of her marriage license. Cause if her driver's license has her married name on, it and her passport has her maiden name then she must carry a marriage license to show the different how her name got from one to the other that's a really good point thank you for that kurt and keisha says woohoo cme traveling 600 subscribers way to go um and cme traveling is thanking everyone for all the cheers this morning um let's see Blow the ticker for Z-Man for 200. That's a, that's what a Backlash Fisherman is saying. And Bone Tart, you can't, you're going to have to do this. Backlash Dwayne wants to get chickens. He wants to get chickens. There you go. And Avid Fisherman, good morning this morning. Good Avid morning Fisherman. to you. So glad to have you with us. And I put a plug in earlier, Avid Fisherman and Backlash are back-to-back -back lives on Sunday, 7 p.m. for right. the Avid and 8 p.m. for Backlash. That's right. Here's uh, Keisha. Keisha says, thanks, Robin. But if you could see this exhausted girl right now, woo, chill. I, I think you're a beautiful lady all the time. <laughs> Sometimes the windblown look on a woman, I think is just absolutely precious and gorgeous because that's the real you. That's the natural you. I'm not a big one for a whole bunch of makeup. I mean, I do wear makeup, but I mean, I'm talking about the whole bunch of makeup the way some people do. I, I'm just not into that. I am all about natural beauty. I love the natural beauty. Um, here was what Justin. I'll have been to supernatural being <laughs> <laughs> gypsy and vanilla girl say thank you, channel members at Ocean to Ocean That's Travel. Right. Yes. Um, and here's Bone Tide Travelers. I got Mahogany Bay and Montego Bay confused. Thought I got to hold a sloth, but no. Oh, don't you hate that? You think you got to one location and, and went to a different one? We've been there and done that too. Um ramp uh Fearless. Took him. But you know what they said? He said, is this where I'm supposed to be? They're like, yeah, come on. And so he. <laughs> you got to love that. One got money for him that he didn't attend. And one got, he attended. And I don't think they got paid for He paid at the gate. I really don't know. Um, here, here we go. I've been on the S list before. Oh, different there you list. Go. A different yeah. list. Yeah. I think everybody's been on that S list. There, and, John. and everybody's talking about that S list now. Well, that S list got a lot of uh, conversation going yeah. on. Yeah, snickerdoodle. What is, what is Law Jones saying? The airport in Alaska is in the USA, but the door is in Canada. Yes. And Canada charges you $20 in cash to leave the country. Have cash ready to leave. And there's another thing on our land and sea. There's one excursion that we're taking one mm -hmm. day that is actually we're going to pass through a little part of Canada and we have to have our passports to pass through that little part of Canada. Yeah, we're going up there. Actually, we're going to a museum there on the train or take, excuse me, we're taking the bus, going there and then getting on the train. Mm -hmm. We're doing everything that day, but we, we have to have our passport because we're going in Canada. Mm hmm. Yep. And of course, um, Backlash put up the link for Coastal Waters. Right on. Um, so uh, what else we got on that 90 day thing? Oh, uh, oh you know what? It is time to go. I've got to We're get done. out of here. I've got to drop my car off at the dealership. This yes, morning. we got to take the car so, and drop it off. Two things. Raid Parade today. The link is in the chat. Um, sea Lake Journeys. We're in the Raid Parade at 243. Um, Kurt and Marsha, CME Traveling is directly up after us until to, until 2.43 this afternoon or 10 a.m. tomorrow for our anniversary party. We'll see you guys around the channel. See you around the channel.